Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Whole Foods healthy grocery haul. I had a few things to get, quite a lot of things to get. Now, this will last me about one to two weeks, maybe two and a half weeks. Also something to keep in mind, I know that Whole Foods is like super expensive, but if you guys have Amazon Prime, you can become like Prime Whole Food members. So basically you get all these discounts. If you're a Prime member, you just download the Whole Foods app, put in your Amazon account information and you get tons of discounts. So it's really, really worth it. And I really like the shopping experience of Whole Foods. So I love shopping there. It also promotes the local community because a lot of the stuff that they get is from my local community. So the money that I'm putting into Whole Foods, I'm putting back into my community. So I don't know, I just think it's a really good, good, good store. Um, it could be on the expensive side, I understand that. But again, like I said, I'm a Prime member, so I get tons of discounts. So let's go ahead and start uh, with the haul. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the produce. First, I'm gonna do veggies. I got some organic romaine for salads, as well as some organic spring mix. I like to kind of combine the two for the salads. I also got some grape tomatoes. Again, really good for like salads. I got an organic cucumber good for salads an avocado that is not ripe yet because i already have a ripe one in my fridge i also picked up some broccoli which is a staple for me um if i had to pick one veggie to eat for the rest of my life it would be broccoli because it's so easy to make i also picked up two lemons for lemon water now over to the fruit side i ended up picking up some blueberries so these are really good in smoothie bowls oatmeal yogurt um i also picked up some blackberries again it could go like in anything i also picked up some acai this is really really healthy for you a really really good superfood and i like to blend it in with some frozen bananas and that's like a base for a good smoothie bowl um add some peanut butter and it just like totally changes the whole smoothie in my opinion which brings me to bananas i like to get ones that are pretty much kind of ripe um so you guys can see like the freckles on them because when they become ripe that's when you're supposed to be eating them a lot of people eat them when they're like yellow but that actually is acidic to your body and i don't really like the flavor of ripe bananas so i freeze them and then blend them up into a smoothie and it makes it super super creamy and sweet so that's kind of how i get my bananas in also picked up some pineapple i recently had pineapple and I don't know, it's just really good. So that is my produce. Now I'm gonna go over to my like dairy slash liquid area. I don't even know how I'm organizing this, honestly. Another staple piece, unsweetened almond milk, the kind that I always get. I don't really like the vanilla flavor. Also picked up some coconut water. I really, really hate the flavor of coconut water, but it is so healthy for you has so many electrolytes it's just like so good do like a smoothie and you do half coconut water half almond milk um it kind of makes this like creamy coconutty like milk flavor um but it's not like the coconut milk that you get like in the cartons are it's kind of like thick and really sweet so this makes it like coconut water slash milk I don't even know what I'm saying. I also picked up my iced coffee. I really prefer the vanilla, but the Whole Foods in my location doesn't have the vanilla one. Um, so caramel is my second favorite, but if you guys find vanilla, I get that one. I like to mix that with some vanilla soy milk. Um, in the morning, like half and half is really, really good. I also picked up some organic Greek yogurt grass-fed greek yogurt if i ever do eat dairy which is kind of rare i make sure that it's grass-fed so this is the brand that i got it's the stonyfield greek grass-fed greek yogurt i like to throw fruit nuts uh superfoods like little seeds and such on top with a little bit of honey it's really good um i also picked up some feta cheese this is really good with salads i also picked up some organic roasted pepper hummus again to throw in my salads as kind of like a salad dressing I'm not really a huge fan of salad dressing, so when I mix in hummus, it tastes better and gives it some sort of flavor and maybe like a little bit of olive oil on top. I also picked up this cashew queso. This is dairy-free queso. It's made with cashews. It is probably the best queso I've ever had in my life. Honest to God, it is so amazing. And it's just a bonus that it's dairy-free. I also picked up some tomato paste to add into like some quinoa or something to kind of give it some flavor. The ingredients in this is literally just organic tomato paste and citric acid, which I'm pretty sure is like lemon or lime. I also picked up the these organic corn tortillas. The ingredients are water, organic whole white corn, organic yellow corn, and less than 2% of lime and gur 
Garagum? I don't know. But this is like, if you guys ever go to like a super authentic Mexican like restaurant and they serve tacos, this is like, it just like smells so good. It smells like authentic tacos. Put this with some chicken and we do fried jalapenos with a little bit of this queso. So freaking good and so simple. Now I'm gonna move over to pantry item stuff. Nuts, superfoods, and some snacks. So I'm gonna start off with the nuts that I got. So I ended up getting some walnuts. Again, really good for like yogurt bowls, just to snack on, that kind of thing. I also picked up some sliced almonds. It adds like a nice crunch, but it's not like a giant almond that you're crunching into. Make sure that it still has the skin on it because a lot of the nutrients in the almond is in the skin. I also picked up some dried cranberries. Um, so these are really good to put in salads, yogurt bowls, that kind of thing. Granola wise, you guys know me and my purely Elizabeth granola. It's expensive, but it is so worth it. Quality over quantity, really low sugar. It's low glycemic. It's made with millet, chia seeds, coconut oil, and coconut sugar. My favorite is the good old plain original, but I recently picked up the cranberry pecan one and it's really, really good. They also have a quinoa in this, really, really good. As for like super foods i got the cacao nibs so these are really good in like smoothies it adds a nice like little chocolate chip crunch but it's just pure raw um organic cacao which is so healthy for you i also picked up some cacao powder i used to like eat this every single morning and i had so much energy performance wise when i worked out it was just like a whole different level so i'm going to start incorporating this back into my eating routine because i don't know why i ever kind of stopped again so many different benefits i put this in smoothies like i'll throw in like a banana some cacao powder and like almond milk and now if you blend it up with some cacao nibs it kind of gives it that like chocolate chippy kind of texture has tons of antioxidants lots of fiber magnesium just all around great benefits. As for like snacky food, I recently just found these. These are called hip peas. They are made with chickpeas and they're chickpea puffs. They taste like um, Cheetos. So this is vegan white cheddar. It doesn't taste vegan. It's actually really good. The ingredients are pretty, pretty simple. Those are the ingredients. Again, really, really simple. I found these last week and I ate them so quickly and I wanted to go get more, but instead of going all the way to Whole Foods like I usually do, I stopped at like three different places that said that they had them, but they didn't. And there's alternatives to like chickpea puffs and I got, I think I've tried two now and they don't taste the same. Like this is so good. So I ended up picking up two of these just in case. I also picked up some blue corn tortilla chips. These are so good if you're just craving that kind of like quick chip snack flavor and the chips and salsa really good zevia so this is again something that i recently found it is a cola i got the caffeine free cola it's like you're drinking soda but it's made with stevia i know like stevia some people say that there's like an aftertaste that they don't like um but this does not have that i think because like it's super bubbly it tastes exactly like a coke but there's no sugar no calories and it's no artificial flavor so it doesn't have like the really bad sugar in it it's like non-gmo all that kind of stuff because it's made with stevia leaf which is um derived from a plant if i'm ever craving like a bubbly soda i'll get a zevia no and i have been like loving them <laughs> so now for my favorite part ice cream um they don't have the ice cream brand that i like at whole foods so i went to publix to get this and i ended up getting a kind bar um, from Whole Foods, the Blueberry Kinds Bar. It's blueberry, vanilla, and cashew. It's my favorite. But at Publix, they didn't have that one, so I ended up picking up the cranberry one. This one is cranberry, almond, and antioxidants with macadamia nuts. Just like a good snack with some protein and a little bit of sweetness if you're ever craving something quick. And then I got ice cream. So Noah and I, again, <laughs> Not recently found, I think everyone knows about Haagen-Dazs, um, but Noah and I recently just picked up a chocolate Haagen-Dazs from like a 7-Eleven, we were craving it one day. And there's no RBST, it's non-GMO. The ingredients are so simple for chocolate ice cream. It's cream, skim milk, cane sugar, and cocoa, um, processed with alkali and egg yolks, like that's it. So it's not the worst for you but instead of buying like the vegan ice cream that literally has an ingredient list like this long to me it's just worth it more to like have this with a little bit of dairy in it every once in a while so we picked up the good old-fashioned chocolate 
We also got the caramel cone. This one is so good. I also ended up picking up the java chip one. I used to be obsessed with like java chip frappuccinos at Starbucks. So hopefully it kind of tastes similar. And then this one I wanted to try. This is a Ben and Jerry's one, which again, it's not the worst for you. I mean, it's not healthy, but it's not like the worst. I'm trying to take off all the frost so that you guys can see the, the flavor. So I ended up picking up the strawberry cheesecake. I saw this one and I was like, I have to try this. So that is it for my grocery haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys wanna watch a what I eat in a day video, there will be one coming up, I'm pretty sure, next Friday. I'm trying to show you guys some meal ideas that I get from all of this stuff. Uh, something that I probably am sure that you guys are thinking is like, there's no protein, like where's your protein, where's your meat? Noah usually picks up like the meat if we ever do eat meat. I don't eat that much meat. I try my best not to, but if we ever have chicken or any type of like meat, he will usually get that. I do have beans already stocked. I have eggs in the fridge. I get a lot of protein from my oatmeal which I already have in there. Um, I have fish in the freezer, so like all my protein I really didn't need to stock up on. But again, like I said, if I ever do eat like chicken or anything like that, it's usually when Noah brings it home. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys all in a future video. Bye guys. <sighs> Fuck, now I have to go put all this away. Yeah.